Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some gameplay here of this new robot called Demeter. Now, I received this robot along with the uh, legendary pilot uh, from the creator program. So that's how I got mine. That's why this does not have a paint job just yet. Um, we do have uh, the Havoc weapon on here, the cloaking unit as well. Uh, when I actually got this uh, robot, it was MK1 level 12, so I had to max it out. Um, here are the pilot skills as well. And I guess for anyone who is interested in the backstory, let me just uh, scroll down here and uh, you guys can read up on that. And the pilot for this is kind of interesting. So basically, uh, if you take a look at the uh, Jerry's instruction uh, skill, it says here, after teleportation, the Demeter and all allies in range deal increased damage 20%. So it's kind of like a death mark. Like if I were to teleport to a group of players and, uh, you know, help my teammates out, um, they're all going to get like 20% more damage, which is a really interesting skill. We're going to see how that uh, works out. And uh, before we get into some gameplay here, I actually have uh, coins, which I purchased, and we have over 10,000. So I'm going to open up uh, these envelopes. And in terms of the prizes, I would like to win the Ox Minos, the Dread Shell, the paint job for the Demeter and the shell. I still do not have a paint job for my shell. Uh, drones, microchips is all good. And uh, resources here, we have some gold. And uh, what about the 200 uh, envelope? Oh, we have the Warrior Typhon. So that actually looks really nice. I like that one. Um, I do have actually two Magneton, two uh, Hornet weapons, which I got from the Creator program as well. Um, I would like the paint job for the Typhon because this one looks better than the green one I have. Um, what is, uh, this is a new pilot, isn't it? Okay, so after activating its ability, the Typhon speed is increased for 5 seconds. 30%, that's pretty fast. Hmm, I would have to try this out. I think it works best for like a brawler build like Havox on the Typhon or something. And uh, we have components, power cells. And what about the uh, smaller envelope here? We have the uh, Tiger Scatter. So that's a really good prize to win for the smaller ones. And in terms of, you know, which uh, envelope is best to open, it really depends on what you have on your account. Now, I think for a player who doesn't really have uh, the Sonic weapons, it might be a good idea to go for the smaller uh, envelope, so the 100. And uh, let's just see, what do we have here? I think if you're really aiming for the Typhon, uh, this would be a good one to go for. But I think for most players, probably the smaller one is best. Now, if you have everything, obviously the uh, one, the 300 is the better one. So before I actually start opening up these uh, envelopes here, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see some more gameplay of the Demeter robot, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And uh, having said that, uh, let's uh, go ahead here. And uh, let's start opening up some of these envelopes. So I'm going to start with the uh, bigger envelope here first. So we're going to do this. And uh, let's see what we get. Okay, so the first prize. Oh, we have to choose. It's like this again. Okay, I'm going to go for the left one. Let's see what we get. Shell components. And uh, let's see what we get next. I think at this point, because I have most of these prizes from the creator program, it's probably best for me to actually keep on going for gold. Unless I can get the paint job, then that's slightly different because I really need the paint job for my shell and the uh, Demeter. So let's see what we can get here. Oops, close that. Oh, I might even win that Ox Minos. Okay, so I'm going to go for the middle one. Let's see what we get here. Oh, we got a squall. Man, I have so many of these weapons. I think I have like... Because I know I maxed up four. And I think I had four on top of that. So I probably have like five, I think. Let's see what we get here. We got the Linda Kano, the pilot. I already have this, so I don't need that. I'm probably going to sell it. Just open up a couple more of these and then I will switch to the other one. This one, I actually want the microchips. I hope I get it. Doesn't really matter which one because I'm going to combine them anyways later on. And uh, let's just keep on going here. I still do not see the... Uh... 
paint job for the shell or the Demeter. So special prize in nine. Whoa, that's uh, quite a bit. But you know what? I've actually heard of players winning the shell when they didn't get the, uh, it didn't say special prize. Um, they actually got it on one of these. Okay, ooh, that's a good prize. 700 gold. That's a really good one. Paint job. Uh, oh, we got some drones here. I kind of hope I get a drone, actually. Let's go for this one. We got the wasp. I wonder how many uh, slots and what slots I have for this. I need uh, better drones on this account. Oh, we got, uh, speaking of which, we have more drones here. So let's go for the uh, middle one. Let's see what we get. The wasp again. Okay, let's just close that. And man, I keep on getting that pilot. I hope I don't get the pilot. Kind of holding my breath here. Okay, so we got the target seeking minigun shooter. You know what's kind of funny about those uh, shooting drones? I actually do not use them because I find that sometimes when I'm trying to sneak by the enemy, that a stupid weapon thing starts firing and it gives away my positioning. If it's not that, it's getting me killed because I think someone's behind me. But uh, yeah, that's why you don't see me run those uh, shooting uh, microchips. I still do not see the paint job. Is it just really hard to get those paint jobs or what? Okay, so what are we at here? 7,000 uh, coins left. Special prize in three. So I'm going to go for the uh, special prize. And then we're going to be uh, switching on over to the, uh, the middle uh, envelope. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do here. Um, we're still getting components. I actually want to get the uh, drone. If I can get the drone. It's always good to get drones because you never know what slots, you know, microchip slots it will have. Um, let's just see. Special prize in one. This one I want gold or the, uh, the chip. Okay, that's actually a really good one. This one here. Good defense one. Okay, so special prize in the next chest. Let's uh, let's see what we get here. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and pick the right one. Okay, so we got the dread shell. That's great. Now I have to decide if I want to level this up here because <laughs> I have uh, two shells and one's already maxed out. That one actually is a limited edition one, which uh, has um, the extra ten percent durability. So we're going to be opening up the uh, middle envelope here, and we're going to see what we get. Okay, so special prize in three, and then I think I'll switch over to the uh, left one afterwards. Oh, that's a good one. Balance unit. I don't actually have any of these uh, modules. I don't think I do. Um, Let's just go with the right one. Okay, we got gold. Special prize in one. Oh, the paint job. I need that paint job. Left. Yes, I got it. So now I can use it on my Typhon. But um, I've actually uh, pre-recorded a game already. I think it was like the fourth game I played of the Demeter. I had to include it because the gameplay was just so good. So I do have that uh, kind of queued up as well which i'm going to show you guys um so we have the uh, next one's going to be a special prize here we're going to see what we get a weapon maybe Ooh, these are good prizes it doesn't really matter which one i get okay so we got a magnetar so i have three of these now and you know what i wonder how this would do on the blitz i can see that doing actually really well on the blitz too so we're going to switch on over to the hundred a coin envelope here and we're going to be opening up uh, some of these and then I'm thinking maybe switching back to the three is it the 300 the bigger one because I want the paint job for my uh, shell so I'm hoping I get that let's just keep on going here Ooh, power cells 
I'm trying to get power cells. <laughs> I don't care about the, the components because at this point I need power cells. Special prize in one. Uh, this one, it doesn't really matter what I get because I think I might end up selling the components here. I'm going to sell the components to the hawk. And the next one is the special prize. Let's see what we're going to get here. So is it going to be the new scatter? It is. So I actually really want that. I'm going to go ahead and pick the middle one. Let's see what we get. Okay, Dragon Dragoon. I should have picked the left one. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the 300 envelope here. We're going to see if we can get the uh, paint job for the shell. Okay, so we got the pilot, but I already have that, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to pick the left one. Let's keep on going here. Special prize in three. So I think what I might do is I will go for the special prize and then go back to the middle envelope. Seem to be getting a lot of components for the shell. Oh, we got another drone here. I hope I get it. Left one. Yes. I'm getting a lot of drones. This is really good. It's always a good idea to go for those because it can really help your bots a lot. You will be amazed at how much, um, you know, resistance and stuff you can put on a bot if you have the right uh, slots. Okay, so special prize in the next chest. We are going to open up uh, this one here and let's see what we get. Paint job maybe? Is that counted as? Actually, this one doesn't really matter. You know what? I might even win a Demeter again. Uh-oh. Another Squall. Holy crap, man. I'm going to sell all of those scores. I wonder how much silver I will make for that. And you know what? Let's just go another one. I noticed a special price in 11. Holy crap. Okay, so gold or the uh, microchip? Which one is it? Again, this one's a really good one. I think I have a couple of those stacked up as well. Um, let's go for the middle one here. Let's see if we can get some good prizes. Okay, let's just go for this one here. Special prize in 16. I'm uh, kind of wondering if I should actually go back to the other envelope. We're getting more Typhon components. Okay, so I think what I might do is we're going to go back to the 300 because I need to get the paint job for the shell. <laughs> I, I need that paint job. I'm just hoping that I can get it. Because my shell still does not have a paint job. That's crazy. After two, almost two events here. So what do I think about the drop rate? Um, you know, just based on, you know, what I'm getting here. I would say it is not that good. Okay, based on what I'm seeing. So my advice, I think, for players, if you are going to be playing this game and putting money into uh, this event... I would actually, first of all, wait um, until um, a couple of days have passed because you can get better deals or towards the end. And then I would open up these envelopes towards the end. I think that's what I would do. So, I mean, I guess I've saved you guys a couple of uh, hundred dollars or so by saying that, I hope. <laughs> Just keep on going here. I still do not see that paint job. Man, that's crazy. We're still getting shell components. Do I have another shell? I might even have another shell by now. All I want is the paint job, which is kind of funny because... I think most players would want like a robot or something. <laughs> I'm going for the paint job. Because my shell looks just so naked without having that paint job. Okay, so we have two more of these. We're going to see if we can perhaps get... Um, we have another drone. If I can get a drone here, that would be good. Okay, so we got the wasp. And surely this one, paint job? I have not seen that uh, paint job show up at all. No, we still do not have it. Wow. Okay, gold? Nope, didn't get the gold. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the prizes here. Let me just close that. And uh, this is what I won uh, from this event. So we got a dragon dragoon, um, two squalls, the uh, shell... 
the uh, paint job for the Typhon and uh, some pilots here, the balance unit. Uh, quite a few drones. I'm actually happy about the drones because I need more drones. Um, a lot of gold and a lot of components. So just judging from, you know, these prizes here, I would say the drop rate is really bad because I was hoping to win a paint job first of all for my shell. I noticed we have two scores, which um, I wouldn't say that's exactly a good prize if you've got, uh, unless of course you don't have the score, that's different. But, um, you know, I have a couple of those scores, which I'm going to show you in a bit. Uh, we have the Magnetar, which is a good prize, the paint job for the Typhon, and we have the pilots here. But yeah, I think for me, the drop rate wasn't that great. Uh, you guys can let me know actually in the uh, comment section um, how you did with this event. But let me just go back to my hangar here because I'm going to show you how many squalls I have. I have six. So if I was to sell, oh, I guess I can't sell it. I have to equip my uh, Titans with uh, weapons in order to sell that. Uh, but if I had to sell it, I think I would actually get quite a bit of silver from that. So yeah, we have uh, the following robots here, which I'm going to run right now. As I said, I have pre-recorded a game. I actually happen to uh, be recording because... I wanted to make sure that uh, just in case I had an amazing game, you know, with the Demeter, which I did, I would have it, uh, you know, recorded. And I wasn't doing commentary, so there's going to be some post commentary with that. Um, but yeah, having uh, said that, let's jump into that gameplay now. And uh, you guys can see how this Demeter does uh, when it's maxed out. Okay, so we have dropped in on Power Plant Map, and I noticed the raid team was kind of rushing towards the gap area. So what I did was I teleported to my teammate in the hopes I could keep him alive, and I was able to do that, um, but then we had a shell kind of charge into the gap area uh, afterwards. I actually thought, you know, for sure I was going to go down here because um, the detonation of the shell is actually pretty deadly. But luckily I have a lot of defensive chips on the drone I'm using for the Demetus. So I was able to stay alive. And then once we took out this uh, shell, I was kind of looking around to see if I could heal anyone else. Um, there was one player which I kind of looked at uh, in the distance and I thought, okay, that guy's probably camping. I'm not going to teleport to him. And just as I turned around, there was a scorpion. So we uh, dealt with the scorpion and then I tried to kind of team up with this blitz. But the thing when you are playing the Demeter, it's kind of like a node and so you have to see, you know, who on your team needs uh, healing and support. And I noticed we were being attacked by the dome area on the right side. So as I was making my way over there, there was this Hades. I had to deal with the Hades first. Um, I think he kind of underestimated the speed of the Demeter. Because I managed to get inside his bubble. And then that's when I teleported to my teammate, um, you know, on the right side. And I happened to uh, keep this guy alive. So they were all using my shield. And I was trying to heal them up as well. Um, there was one guy going towards the gap area. So I kind of followed him. And I was able to take uh, this guy out, I believe. So we're going to deal with this uh, this phantom here. We're at Rampage. And then once again, I'm looking around to see who on my team uh, needs my help. So obviously we have this Ravana going towards the gap area. I'm kind of dealing with him first. Okay, and then once we take this guy out, I'm uh, going to look around to see what's happening here. This is when the Aljun came, so I activated my shield. I actually teleported behind my teammate. Uh, trying to see if I could maybe, uh, you know, help to, um, you know, defend against this Ao Jung. Just so happened that we took him out. Then a leech came charging into the gap area. This time, I actually almost thought I was going to die again, but um, I was lucky here. He had storms, so we took him out. We're at Living Legend now, and uh, once again, I'm looking around to see if there's anyone else um, I can teleport to uh, that I can help out. There was a guy on the right side, so you're going to see me teleport to this guy here, who is in a Ravana. I think I actually got him by surprise because notice how he turned around. <laughs> he was like, whoa, what's that? And I think it's more just players kind of learning to adapt to the uh, Demeter. So yeah, I healed him up, I protected him, then I made my way back to the gap area. And I noticed there was a guy on the left side here. He has an uh, Aegis shield. Wasn't really sure what it was. Trying to peek around the corner. Um, I noticed that it was a bulwark. And uh, just as he came charging in here, because I don't have that much health, I uh, teleported back to where this Ravana is and then I was going to make my way over back to the gap area. My thinking was maybe I could try to kind of trick him uh, into uh, not seeing me and then engage him again but uh, he was paying attention. It was him and there was another guy in the gap so I made my way over to 
uh, the enemy uh, home beacon here. I thought I'd capture it because they're all uh, focused on that gap area. And uh, this is when he came around the corner. Now, again, I thought I was going to die here. Uh, but somehow, I managed to survive. And again, I think um, he kind of underestimated the speed of the Demeter. You see me going weaving back and forth uh, because I know that he's going to miss a couple of shots that way. And just as I did that, I noticed we have a Lancelot up top here. So I teleported to the top, trying to protect my uh, teammate here, the Lancelot. And then I was like, wait a minute, this guy's trying to steal my kill. So <laughs> I started to go for this, uh, I think it was an Ares. So I'm charging. I'm like, man, that's my kill. That's my kill. But of course, the guy actually stole my kill. So I saved him, and then he stole my kill. And then I came through uh, this gap area. I believe this is where I got... Uh, taken out by another there was actually a Demeter there who helped his buddy out um, So I got taken out finally Dropped into my shell. Uh, we need beacons at this point So I'm looking around to see where I can go I went to the gap area and I did see this Demeter and I thought you know what I better go after him Otherwise, he's gonna start healing up all his teammates So I took out this Demeter went back to the uh, gap to make sure we get that beacon and um, around that time, I looked up to see how many players we had. Uh, we had four, they had five. I saw a sixth one uh, drop in, and I thought, okay, this is not good because we are probably going to be botting up. Um, I turned around the corner, I actually saw two Nightingales. I charged them. Um, my ability went off, and if you take a look at the bottom of the screen there, I think I took out both Nightingales with my detonation. I was going to engage that Arthur, but then I thought, you know what? Um, probably not a good idea. So I went for another beacon. Um, at this point, I've uh, lost my shorts, lost my shirt. <laughs> my uh, shell is pretty much naked at this point. I'm uh, trying to get this beacon here. A hawk dropped in and then the Arthur came around the corner. Um, at that point, I knew I was pretty much toast. So, you know, at this point, being that I'm going to go down, I did see in the uh, top right corner there were some Mings. So I dropped in with my Nodens thinking, okay, I'm going to heal up my teammates, uh, use my Nodens to take out their, our Mings, which... I kind of did. I took out one. The other one still survived uh, to my left here. So I'm looking around seeing who I can heal. Uh, there was a guy in the gap. I dealt with him. And uh, while I'm reloading, I'm uh, looking to see if there's anyone on my team that I can actually heal. I uh, tried to heal a player in the distance there, but uh, that didn't work. I saw Ao Ming on my team, healed him up. And while I'm busy reloading here, um, you can see I'm busy targeting the Ao Ming, and then I actually got suppressed by another Nodens. I'm trying to focus that Nodens down, but I had uh, too many players uh, firing at me, so I got killed. But at this point, um, I noticed there was an Arthur going towards the gap area, so I actually dropped in with my Behemoth Exodus. And, um, you know, these weapons were actually buffed, so that's why I'm running it, but I also really love rockets. So I hit this Arthur, he turned around, I think he got kind of surprised that he was getting hit by Behemoth Exodus. Um, I did see a shell and he saw me so I knew, okay, I'm not going to attack this guy because I don't have any rockets at this point. Uh, he actually played this smart, so you notice what he's doing. He's hiding behind the building, he's detonating, getting within that 100 meter range. And, um, you know, I don't have any rockets, so I thought, okay, I'm going to go to the gap and try to take out this other Arthur, see if I can catch him by surprise. So you see me making my way over here. Um, I started uh, firing at him, went into siege mode. I started healing because I actually get more damage that way as well because I believe I have revitalizing uh, intensifiers. And um, you know, at this point I can see, okay, we have four players, they have two. Um, I think a third one might have dropped in. Yep, a third one dropped in. I tried to get another player moving across, um, but he backed away. And at this point, I believe the game pretty much ended because we have four cap uh, the enemy. So uh, yeah, that was a pretty good game, a really good game actually for the Demeter. Um, I had only played, I think it was three, uh, this might have been the fourth game I played with that bot. I'm still learning to use it, but I really like the gameplay of it and being able to support my uh, teammates. So we ended up doing 5.4 million damage, 13 kills, 7 beacons in that game. And um, I think that pretty much wraps up today's video. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about the Demeter robot. Is this a robot that you can see yourself running? And uh, also, what has been your best prizes from the special delivery crates so far? And I think that pretty much wraps everything up. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.